Hi everybody, it's Stephanie from My Wine Tribe, and today we're here to talk about value wines. When I say value, I don't mean cheap, because there's a lot of cheap wines out there that I would never ever recommend to you, but when I say value wines, I mean you're gonna pay $10 and you're gonna feel like it's a $20 bottle of wine because it's that good. My friends and I have researched this over the years. You can thank me later. Um, so I feel really good about everything I'm about to recommend to you. And you should know that I'm not getting paid for any of this. This is just uh, my gift to the world. I've tried to find wines that most tribes like, but do yourself a favor and go take the My Wine Tribe quiz just so you have a little bit of context as to what tribe you're in. Okay, and with that, let's kick off with bubbles. Most of you guys know that Champagne is a wonderful bubbly wine from the Champagne region of France. It's made with the method Champignois, but the Spaniards do the same thing, just not in Champagne, France, and with different grapes. So their bubbly wine is called Cava, and I'm a huge fan. The other day I went into my local bottle shop and the kind of elitist guy that helped me revealed that there's a $10 bottle of Cava that he likes. So here it is, Segura Viudas. It's a brute, it's so delicious. It smells like honeydew, it smells like grass, it smells like a little bit of peach. Um, and when we drank it, both with and without food, everybody loved the taste of honey, that little sort of stone fruit, little apricot, the frizz and bubbles on your mouth was delightful. Loved, loved, loved this. Just west of Spain is Portugal. And one of the things I discovered when I was visiting is the Vino Verde, which translates to green wine. And Vino Verde is not actually green wine. Green in this instance means young, fresh. Don't sell her me, drink me now. That's what it's telling you. And at, you know, eight to $10 a bottle, you're gonna wanna drink it now. And what's great about Vino Verde is it has some bubbly bits, so it's refreshing on the palate. It's nice with food. There's two kinds I really like. One is called Broadbent, and the other one, embarrassingly, that I just fished out of our recycling bin is Casal Garcia. Next up, we have a Sauvignon Blanc from Pomelo, which is a California producer. Typically, Sauvignon Blanc is from Australia, um, but this guy I really love because even though it has lemons on the label, it's not super lemony. It is like a bit of a lemonade, maybe with a hint of limeade with some orange in there. Really nice citrus notes with some minerality. So you get a little bit of like river rock and stone, balances it out. Okay, so for our final white wine, I'm gonna share with you a French wine. It's a blend um, from a producer called Domaine de Pajot. It's amazing, the wine is called Le Four Cepage. I'm probably saying that wrong, so I apologize, Domaine de Pajot. But this is a blend of four white grapes. Um, the typical retail price on this is eight to $12. It's excellent. This is another one that you can drink with or without food. It has a nice acidity level, so it's got some zip to it. Um, but it's just a great crowd pleaser. And again, family run organic French wine for eight to 12 bucks. Yes, please. Okay, next up we have red wines. The first up we have the Lee's Fitch Cabernet Sauvignon. These guys are based in Sonoma. Year after year they make great cabs because they blend a little bit of some different grapes, maybe a little bit of Zinfandel from Lodi, et cetera, into the cabs to round it out. So these are really balanced reds. You'll have some nice taste of dried cranberry, a little bit of leather, a little bit of chocolate, maybe some spice. Um, I like this. It's easy drinking for a cab and it's a killer, killer deal at around $11. So here's one that I love sharing. Um, it's from Penfold. This is from Canunga Hills and it's a Syrah Cabernet blend. They call it Shiraz over there in Australia. Super drinkable, but it's got a little bit more heft than the Lee's Fitch. It's got a little bit more tannins on your palate, which means your palate's gonna be a little dry. It's got a little bit more boldness, um, but very drinkable, really food friendly. This range is from about nine to $12. Penfolds, Canunga Hills, Shiraz Cabernet blend. You'll thank me later. Finally, moving from Australia, let's go to Argentina for a Malbec. You guys might know that Malbec is originally a grape from France, but it was brought to Argentina years ago, and now it's really sort of seen as the red grape of Argentina because they do a great job producing amazing wines at a relatively great price point. So this bottle from Alamos is a Malbec that you can get in the grocery store. It ranges from nine to $11. Why I like it is because 
it's big and chewy. It's got some heft, but you're going to get blackberry. You're going to get black plum. You're going to get a little bit of caramel, a little bit of leather. It stays on your tongue, so it's really expansive, but it's got a silky ending, so it's smooth and, and nice to drink with a big steak. So since you're going to be at the grocery store anyway buying this, get yourself a steak and have a toast to Argentina. So now, having described all of these, I'm really thirsty and I'm going to have to go have one. Cheers! Cheers!